So our reading today is Religion in the U.S. We start this re reading by looking at a map and it shows the religiosity by region in 2017. So I look at the key, the dark green are the most religious people, the light, light green are the least, least religious, most, least, least religious people. So you can see where we live in Seattle. This is Washington, Seattle's here. Here's Washington, Oregon and California, Alaska and Hawaii. In the Pacific region of the United States, people are the least religious. Also in the New England region of the United States, people are the least religious. However, in the Southwest and Southeast, people are the most religious. So that shows you that American culture is divided into regions based on religiosity, based on their English accent, based on the economy. There's many regions and almost you could think of it as every region is like its own country in the United States. The lifestyle is different. The people are a little bit different from each other. I would not be happy living down here. I also would not be happy living here. I think for my happiness, I could live in Washington, Oregon, Northern California, and I have to say I do love uh, Las Vegas and I do like Arizona and New Mexico. So you're kind of a fit for it. All right, so let's look at this one. Religion does not play the same role in the United States as in many other countries. So in some countries, religion is very strong and the government and religion are together. But in the United States, the government is here and religion is here. There is a law. They can't be together. The religion, the government cannot control the religion and the religion cannot control the government. So there is no government supported religion or established state church. These two sentences mean the same thing. The government does not control religion. Religion does not control the government. And in general, people are quite private about their religious views, their opinions. Do not talk about religion until you know someone better. This does not mean that people are not religious or that religion is not a political issue or an important part of people's lives. So even though people don't like to talk about it, many people are very religious or believe in God. Most people in the United States believe in God and the majority of people are Christians. So when it says most people in the United States believe in God, I would say maybe 70% of people believe in God, maybe 80%. I have to look on the internet to find out how many, but I think it's 70%. And most of the people who believe in God are Christians. Now Christians are divided into two groups. Christianity is divided into Catholicism and Protestantism. Okay, the two groups. Protest Protestantism is also divided into many groups, Baptist, Methodist, and Christian scientists, to name a few. Besides Christianity, the United States has other religions like Islam, Buddhism, and Judaism. Okay, so mostly Christian. There's two groups of Christian, Catholics and Protestants. For the Protestants, there's many kinds of Protestants. And there's other religions too, Islam, Buddhism, and Judaism. So our country believes that you can practice any religion you want to. You have the freedom to do that. And this is something a little strange. Someone may telephone you or come to your house to talk about their religion with you. These people are salespeople for their beliefs. But if you're not interested in discussing religion with them, Simply say thank you for their time and excuse yourself. But if they ignore your request and continue to pressure you, you do not have to be polite. Just shut the door. That's the one time you don't have to be polite. No, thank you. I heard about your religion. Goodbye. You can shut the door in their face. Many people do. 
Okay, so I hope that helps you understand this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.